God. Hmm. <laughs> Administrator Clark. <laughs> this rivers. Good night. Good night. Hmm. <laughs> Me alone in the dark room. I'm not nobody to talk to. Just me, myself, and I, and my shadow. Lights out. Lights out. It's the darkest time for me. Lights out. Lights out. My two hands out, but I just can't feel. Lights out. Na 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 Bold. Cheso, I don't even know your lips passed last night. You can't kiss me. Every time like that. Hmm. Ricky, since last night, you took my car and you left. Now you see it fit for you to come back home. Give me that. Why does do me that, Ricky? I end up sleeping by my mother after the dominoes. But I was calling you, Ricky. WhatsApp, say something. My phone died and I leave the charger home. But Ricky, to me, you know my number, and I'm speaking to you. And guess what? <laughs> I messaged your mother, and she said, you were not home. So where the hell were you, Ricky? You messaged my mother? Why? Not that I asked you. I could have been anywhere. My mother you messaging? Don't do as though you don't know your mother and I message all the time no. when we speak every I single I really day. I don't care about all that. Don't message my mother. Hey, you. You old dirty dog. You just don't want your mother to know all the nastiness you're doing. So where were you, Ricky? You cannot ask me where I was. I tell you, I was by my mother. I reached there midnight when I reached there, the woman sleeping already. You forget I have a key. Hmm. Bravo, Ricky. You good, you know. And I... <laughs> Your greatest boy! No, but I like yours. Ricky, don't touch me. You know what I tell you? Do not touch me. You are a hoe, you know, Ricky. And after you are a hoe, you're not any kind of hoe. An old dirty hoe. And a big dumb coward. And you know what? You cannot even be a man about it. Be a man about what? I tell you where I was. Now don't get me vexed. Hey, hey, hey. It seems I'm afraid of you, Ricky. Get vexed. I know you like to fight, and I quick to draw my weapon. Now you have 
five seconds to open your mouth and tell me where you were last night with my black Suzuki Swift PB9494. You have started yet? I was by my mother. Hmm. You're by your mother, Ricky. Oh, babe. You're by your mother. You were by your mother, Ricky! Oi, oi, relax. Relax. Yeah. Relax. Ricky, I know you were not by your mother. Like, why you cannot just tell me the truth, Ricky? Where were you? You don't have nothing to worry about. Ricky, I'm so tired. I'm like... Ricky, I'm tired. I'm tired, Ricky. You're my woman. And I love my woman. Look at me. That's all that matters. Hey. Hmm. You. Me alone in the dark room. I'm not nobody to talk to. Just me, myself, and I on my shadow. Lights out. Lights out. It's the darkest time for me. Lights out. Lights out. My two hands out, but I just can't feel. Lights out. Na 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 A whole baby? Piki, what I do you like that? I'm sorry, Kashi. Sorry? But but you wasn't here. I was not here, Pinky? No. Pinky, I went to Canada for six months. That is half a year. And you don't have a whole man and a child on my head? It's not as I go that connection happened. You're telling me the truth. No. It's as you go. One night, mm. we went karaoke. We started talking, and it just happened. Mm. So that is how it happened? Yes. Mm? You just see him and I say, Oi, I want you. Eh? Kashman is not so. So it's how, Pinky? Tell me how. Hey. I went to Canada for us. I said I go do this six months. Open a new canteen down the road. I still managed to send you so much money. Yeah. Pinky, you ever went to them classes at NSDC? No. And your mother, Pinky, was she ever sick? My mother was never sick, Kashman. You managed to save any of the money I send you, Pinky? I try sometimes. Sometimes, Pinky? Kashi, baby. Who is mate? Mate who, Kashpan? Pinky, your child father. All of a sudden, you stupid? Kashi. No, Kashi, me. Baby, who please. is mate? You know him. And I know him, Pinky. Yes, Noah. Noah? Noah? <laughs> Noah, that driving down Noah, Pinky? Yes. <laughs> Met! Noah? Jump me on wheels, Pinky? I know. <laughs> Some say pack, but play bag as a. Kashi. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. What do you want us to do? <laughs> What I want to do, Pinky? Yes. Pinky! 
He's made up love you, Pinky. Huh? You didn't think I love you, Pinky? <laughs> Everything I was doing, woman, was for you. <laughs> what again I had to do? Kashi. Tell me! Kashi. Tell me what I had to do! I'm sorry! <laughs> Baby, please forgive me. <laughs> Cash pad. <laughs> Is Bessie what you want to woman pinky? Cash pad, no. <laughs> Baby, please, no. <laughs> Is Bessie who? No, I'm not going. <laughs> I wanted to pack everything now. I'm you, not going. <laughs> you're leaving today. Baby, please, we can work this out. Work out what? Can Woman, see? you are the biggest workout. Move in no. my face. No! I said move! Wake up there, wake up there. Who's that one? Hey. Mm -hmm. Bye, man. Push up. Good day, I'm Dr. Archie Buller, and I will be taking over from Dr. Patterson. Can I get the names, please? Uh -huh. Hello. Michelle Stevens. Present Doc, nice to meet you. Likewise. All right. Angela Martin. Look me there. Jonathan Popo. Jonathan Popo? But Doc, who's that? Eh, eh. Huh? You're ashamed, my boy. <laughs> There's no need for you to be ashamed. <laughs> yes, What's boss. your name? Yes, boss. That is my name. That is my Jonathan. name. Jonathan. <laughs> and once you said Willie. But wait, please don't tell me that sister Sledge name. But y'all, as a matter of fact, where's Sledge? So long I don't see Sledge. Where's Sledge, y'all? She ain't coming today? I don't know. Eh, eh. Well, ma'am. Good night. Good morning. Dr. Archie, what are you saying there? How are you doing there, so, Raymond? I get a promotion. I'm, I'm security now. So I have to be here. Just, just tell me where to stand. Stand anywhere you want, my brother. Hmm. <laughs> Things really get bad here. Yeah? No, my boss right. seen hot in the center them days. Yes, Doc. So far, I witnessed two altercations, Doc. And your girl almost got a lash of chain the Come last on. one. <laughs> hey, but Doc, I'm telling you, a patient man break an hey, the hey. center. Yeah, and man. guess who was the wall on? <laughs> the hotness, Joseph. Yes, Doc. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, let me tell you. What just... Hold on, that happened. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> Let me tell you, thank you for a good laugh this morning. And it is truly, truly, truly a good time mm. to be alive. Um, but I'm a person uh, that needs to get straight into business. And I'm looking at your files and I realize that everybody here has go well. But the files also indicate that some of you all should have been out of here a long time ago. Yeah. Just wasting government's resources, mm. if you ask me. I'm telling you, I don't cash, but I tell you something wrong with this place, dogs. Mm. Hey, hey. Mm. Uh, go keep quiet, you just reach. Um, you don't talk much, do you? What you here for? <laughs> Shh. Doc, I hear she was pregnant, and a man she was pregnant for, uh, he uh, leave her for another woman, pal. Michelle, <laughs> hey, what? Nice things for you to say, uh, yes, uh, But the doctor okay. asked a question, Hello. Hey. Hello, Michelle, man, thank you very me, much. Yes, thank you, thank you, Michelle. La ladies and gentlemen, the work continues. Shall we begin? This too shall pass. This too shall pass. We can do better than that, people. This too shall pass. This too shall pass. This too shall pass. This too shall pass. Okay, very good. That will suffice. Now, uh, since I'm just joining y'all here, right? And there are a lot of changes taking place at the center. One of them is that there's a new mandate that they are going to reduce on the population. So you know what that means. Hey, but Doc, hurry up with that news, Doc! 
it means that some of y'all will be going home. Hey! 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 Hey, you was nice knowing you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Said Doc is a whole buzzkill there, eh, boy. In order for you to go home, you have to do an assignment, and in that assignment, if you do well, of course you get to go, or I will have to assign more time for you to stay. So, so uh. what assignment story is that now? I'm not even supposed to be here, Doc. The man loves me and he has to take care of his child. And you know that, he? You know he loves me, Doc. Mm -mm. Okay, he Angela, we'll talk about child. that later. Mm -hmm. Next question, boss. But wait, Missy, but, but if everybody go, I go and walk to the door. Ah, yes, we keep quiet. I <laughs> tell you, he loves me and he must take care of the child. He loves me, he must take care of the child. Yeah! Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, Angela. Okay, so let's go through the fundamentals first of the questions of this exercise. Sorry. Okay, so we have a few questions. The first question is, what is the most important thing to know, to do before jumping into a relationship? Hmm. Love yourself. Hmm. Love yourself. First, Edok. You can't perform an empty cup, my boss. Excellent, Kashpan. So I tell you, the man must take care of his responsibilities. That's my man, and he must take care of that child. Uh -huh. Okay, Angela. Next question, and this one is for you. People, when do we know when it's time to walk away out of a relationship? For me, Doc, mm -hmm. when respect is no longer served on the table. Ah, where? Eh, eh. Doc, talk about walk away stories that he has to stick Take care of responsibilities and take care of his child. He loves me and he must take care of that child. I tell you that, eh? he loves he love me. Mm -hmm. He loves me. Angela, I hope that you realize that the answers that you're giving will extend your stay. Hi! <laughs> eh, eh. mm -hmm. He loves you. Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> you don't want to walk away? Huh? Talk. You don't want to walk away? You need to walk away. Huh? Next question. What are the different love languages? Look, I got you. Mm. The different love languages describes how a person prefers to receive and give love, Doc. So like words of affirmation, spending quality time, getting nice gifts, and <laughs> Doc, you want to know what's my favorite one, Doc? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Physical touch, dog. You better ensure that your right leg physical touch the chair, please. In the middle, please. Thank you. Boss, some people like to take and some people like to give. I guess so, huh? I guess so, my boy. Now. Wait, the next question. Uh, uh, but come on, take out. Come, let's exchange uniforms, Raymond. You're in a session more than people. Okay, next question. So, in what ways can one take care of oneself when going through an emotional breakup. Doc, you have to cry. Because if you don't cry, huh, you're doing something if he That's be. true. He must take care of his child. My man, that daddy, has to take care of that child. He loves me. He loves me. You. He loves me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ow, 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 ow. You see that thing? Gasa. You can smoke some weed, grow some weed, sell some weed, and just repeat that. So this is me to smoke some weed, yeah. grow some weed, yeah. sell some weed, Messi. repeat. Hey, Raymond, conduct yourself. You just got a promotion. Doc. Jesus. I am really sorry on behalf of these clowns. But ways one can take care of themselves when going through an emotional mess, Doc, is talking to someone you trust. Going to therapy or be like me, I guess. Getting admitted into this glorious place, Doc. Boy, whoa, you smart, my girl. Boy, hush your mouth. I don't want you. Eh, eh. Michelle, Michelle is correct. And that is why I have the following question. If we know all these things, why don't we do them? Huh? If we have all the answers, why the struggle still? How long are we going to hold on to our grief? Angela, from the time you came here, it is clear that you can't come to terms with the fact that the man has moved on. He has moved on. You need to accept that. And Michelle asked for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
It's not that you only love Ricky and that you want him back. But it is the resentment for how it went down that you can't come into terms yet. Mm. Or to terms with yet, I should say. Sometimes you have to understand that we will not get the resolution and the retribution from the people that hurt us the most. And as a consequence, cash pan, it keeps you in a pattern of grief, anger, and bitterness. Now tell me, Michelle, tell me, Angela, how do you move on? What move on thing you telling me? I'm not supposed to be here. And you know that, see? I'm not supposed to be here. All I want the man to do is take care of his child. And he loves me. I know he loves me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Angela, you have to learn to live with the loss. You have to accept your gains and your losses. In addition, people, it is very important, and listen to me well, Michelle and Kashpan, that you appreciate the person, the time, and the experience. You have to understand that relationships, they sometimes force us to evolve and grow, you know. You have also have to understand that love, it is a transformational energy. But sometimes we personally are not ready to grow yet. Why? Because we have deep-rooted issues to sort out first. How much of our reluctance is because of our own uh, 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 pain huh? and not being able to move on? Huh? Everybody quiet now. Nah, boss. We're just taking it in. Okay. Now, since you're taking it in, I have an assignment for you. Sit down. One paragraph and you will explain to me how your time at the center has helped you and how you are going to move forward. Let me repeat the question. I hope you're taking notes. Yes, Raymond. Well done. Raymond is taking notes. How has the time, your time at the center helped you? And how are you going to move on? Dog at the rate. Just send me back to you. Eh? But Michelle, you're a bright girl. You know you can do that. Good talk. Sir. Yes. I can do my mook as a voice note. That's what you say. Yes, as long as you come good, eh? Of course. I go write a thing. I go write a song, man. Yeah, a man. song? Hold on. People, let me explain something. One paragraph. One I rebus. How has your time at the center helped you? Two, how are you going to move forward? Are we clear on that? Yes, yeah, boss, yeah, boss, yeah, boss. Angela, you with me on that? So, Doc, not stay. You tell me I stay in here already. I'm not supposed to be here. The man loved me and he has to feed his child. Mm -hmm. He loved me. He must feed the child. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Angela, your head really hard, eh? mm -hmm. You should try. I think you should give it a try. Okay, now, I will see you all later, and then you will be doing your presentations, what? and we'll take it from there on. Yes, later. So, you can start now. So, people, you're dismissed. Thank you. Oh, yes, before you go, the mantra, of course. This too shall pass. This, this too shall pass. pass. We can do better than that. This too shall pass. This, this too shall pass. pass. Thank you. You're dismissed. Every time is a remote thing. Move, 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 Two children to be given legal custody to the wife and a mistress on the run. Jackson, I'm Dr. Archibald. I'm Dr. Archibald, the psychologist appointed to you. Okay. By the way, I'm here to make you feel better. Um, I see... 
that you're under special supervision as well. Jackson, you know why you're here today? Jackson, being admitted to the center means that you are a loved one has decided that this is the best place for you to be. It will help you to go through this difficult time in your life. And I am for one, um, one to tell you that you will get over this. Okay? My role as your psychologist, of course, is to help you get through it, unravel it all, get to the bottom of it, whatever the problem is. I must say that we will need your intent as well to want to recover, to want to speak, lay it all out. Jackson, in my experience, that is the first and best step forward. Okay? So, Jackson, please tell me, how are you feeling today? Like I've lost it all. You said you've lost it all? Yeah, I said I lost it all, eh? Damn it to few people. You people, who, who Jackson? You people, you, her, she, all of y'all, always thinking y'all know and want to tell people how to think and what to feel and how to be. The whole time you're completely disregarding reality. And guess what? Nobody's listening to me. Let me ask you, you know me. <sighs> I don't need to. But that's what I'm saying. I know you don't know me. But Jackson, do you know yourself? <laughs> of course I know. I got, Dr. Phil, that's what you want to come in with now. Okay, if that is the case... Please tell me who you are. You have your paper. It's there, right? Jackson, what I have on my paper here is what I know about you. Mm. That doesn't mean that I know you. So since you're saying that you know yourself, please tell me. Tell me who you are. Okay. All right. You want to know who I am? Yes. Very well. My name is Jackson Oliver. I'm 48 years old. I have a wife that's leaving me. I have two children she wants to take from me. I have a woman I was pouring my love and my money, all of that into, and she just wants to take that and go. Like, I nothing to her. Huh? Okay, okay. But you wanted to know. Oh, relax, Jackson. Relax. Lower your voice, please. Please try again. I have lost everything. Okay. Are you ready to start over then? Step. Do you even know what it means to start over? In fact, let me ask you a question. Have you ever lost everything? Huh? Everything you, you work hard for, everything you spend your whole life sacrificing for. Do you even know what it means to lose it all? Huh? You have nothing to say now? Jackson. I've lost it all. Sure. Jackson, last year, suddenly, mm. I lost my wife. COVID-19. The best relationship a man can ever have. We had no children. We did everything together. My best friend. And then one day, she comes home saying she has a headache. And within two hours, I have to be driving her to the hospital. And within two twos, I'm being told that my wife is gone. Jackson, my brother, I have lost it all. But I started over. I'm sorry, I, I didn't know that. That's okay. That's okay. But you have to understand that it is in these dark times that true transformation takes place. Transform. In these dark times. Talk, am I not tired of transforming myself? 
you know, let me tell you something. It was just me, my mother, and my two sisters in a two by four house that leaked every time that it rained. You know, and my mother and my father were married, sure, but I guess he got bored because he just left. So it's up to me now, right? Man of the house. So I, I, I work hard at school. I keep up my grades. You know, you know, I kept a job for the last two years of secondary school until two years after that, just so that I could support my mother and my sisters. I was lucky enough to get a scholarship. So I studied. I went away. I took advantage of all of that. Man, I, I got the grades. I got the degrees. I got the job. And I came back and I took care of my family just like I was supposed to. If that is not transformation, dog, I don't know what is. And you talk about my wife, Esther. <laughs> she had everything she could want. The clothes, the shoes, the jewelry, trips, everything. I did my part. She says to me, Jack, you know, you're not emotionally available. So what do I do? I open myself up in ways that men do not do. She comes to me. She says, now, Jack, you, you, you know, not there. you're not physically available. So what do I do again? Me. I am home by six every day. I'm there, she comes home, I drop in everything. You run to her, Esther, you go, can I get you anything, huh? And what do I get for that? Nothing. She's still so critical of me, regardless of what I do. So, we just became, we became loveless. And, and then I found Dharma. You know, and, and in finding Dharma, I found a space where I could just be the man that I wanted to be. You know, she never put any pressure on me to be anything other than that. I, I felt loved, needed and appreciated, respected. And because I allow myself to feel that, after so many years of not, Esther wants to destroy everything that it took me years and years to build. I hear you, Jackson. Doc, you Continue. Know, I have given more love and compassion and understanding over the years, all in the name of, of keeping the peace and the greater good. And I just find like when is my turn and when I need the grace and I need the compassion and the understanding, the love, nothing I did before matters. All of the love and the hard work and the time that I put in, that doesn't matter. All that matters is what I did now. She's not even making the kids matter. Jackson, I'm <sighs> listening to you and you know what I'm hearing? I'm hearing a man being resentful for doing his best, you know. But of course I am resentful. But why? But what about the people you're hurting? <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 I know she's hurt. But <laughs> you know she cheated on me, eh? She cheated on me, right? And she comes to me and she says, oh, she says, Jack, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't intimate. But you and I both know that men and women cheat differently. Yeah. They, they give their heart away, right? And so now, me again, putting in the work, I move on. I say, baby, that's okay. You know what? We can work on it. We can move past that. Me again. So... I made that sacrifice, I figure, you know, if, if ever the time came around when I had my person, it wouldn't be so, so bad, you know? <laughs> what I'm hearing here now is a man who's trying to absolve himself from this whole Absolve thing. how? Yes. Doc, you know what? Let me tell you something. The way I see it, the world is a series of gray areas, all right? It's not just black and white. The, the, what might be right for you? might not be right for me, okay? It's up to us individuals to choose our own path, what we want, who we want to be. I just, I feel like if we would just stop putting so much pressure on ourselves to meet other people's expectations, we could finally experience the world as, as moments, you know? Experience people for who they are, as people, love, people. When I think about it, I have loved unconditionally. And, you know, my actions, they, they may not sit well with everybody, but guess what? I, I, don't, I don't regret anything that I did. Okay, good. I like to hear that. So, are you ready to start over, Jackson? That's the point we're making. That's, that's start, it. But start, what does that even mean to start over? 
Let me let me explain something to you, my brother. <clears throat> you see, when my wife died, Jackson, I mourned her. And I can tell you, it feels like a, a deep hole in your chest. But I had to accept the loss. Jackson, I had to make a conscious effort to decide, to decide to move on and continue with my life. And I started over. But how? Acceptance, giving yourself time. Jackson, do you know that you can you can give yourself the acceptance and the sympathy that we are wired to seek from others. Jackson, you can decide who you are going to become at this point in your life. Um, this next phase of your life, what are you going to do differently? Not, you have to understand that not because you're divorced, it means that you cannot be the best father. Not because, Jackson, you're going through this difficult period in your life means that you will not find love again. This time, you can decide to focus on you. You can decide how you're going to show up in the world. You are. Figure it out, Jackson. You decide not to show up. You decide not to show up in the people's world because of your current self-perception. The perception of your wife. The perception of people. The Gopwell Rehabilitation Center presents you with the perfect opportunity, a golden opportunity, brother, to decide who you are going to be. Not your wife, not these people, not the fancy car, whatever. Jackson Oliver is going to decide this. You, beneath it all. You. Understand that. <coughs> Sorry so, to disturb you, Dr. Archie. Hi. Um, yes, nurse. Yes. You have been summoned by Ms. Rivers to attend an important meeting. A meeting? Yes, a meeting. How meeting? At this point in time, meeting? How, uh, how is it that I'm always the last person to find out about these things? Ma, well, she just, you know. But please, join us. Well, let me dismiss this patient and I'll, I'll be with you. All right, no problem. Jackson. Yeah. Jackson, I'm here. It's time. It's time to move on, my brother. Now, I have a meeting, as you've heard. So, we are dismissed. If you proceed, somebody will be assisting you. Thank you. Have a good one, Jackson. And keep your head up. Walk, walk. Boy, just, just walk Nurse too Fulgence, slow for me. Good afternoon. Hey, good Dr. Afternoon. Achi, hi. Dr. Achi. Um, yeah. where's Nurse Rivers? She's supposed to be here. I you have no idea. You haven't seen her yet? No, I haven't seen uh, her. Uh, good afternoon, Nurse. It's good afternoon, Dr. Too. Achi. Good, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Nurse, Nurse, Nurse. Sorry, I'm late. Sorry, I'm late. Now, I invited all of you here today because I need your support and your opinion on a very serious, serious matter. Now, I know some of you are new and we're missing some nurses, but let's begin. Sit, 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 sit. All right. Last night, mm -hmm. Jackson Oliver was not in the room and I was making my rounds. Now, I, I checked the halls 
I checked the main office. And guess what? <laughs> That's when I caught Nurse Joseph, an administrator clerk, in the act. In, in, in the, the, the act. Boy, shut up, boy. Mm. In the act. Mm. He's in morning again. Nurse Joseph shut almost off. Her. At you, I said, rushing to Jackson. That's when you two come in more <laughs> lost than anything. I was wondering what Nurse Joseph was Nurse doing Joseph. there. Hey, mm. <laughs> hey. Things are hot. What a wow, what a wow, wow, wow. Things are hot. Hot pottery. <laughs> yes, nurses. I Ooh. caught them mm. doing their thing. Mm. So you know what that means. What that means. Mm. What, yes. what, what that, that me Dr. means. Dr. Achi. Mm. Mm. Well, it's simple. It means that Nurse Rivers can launch a formal complaint against Nurse Joseph and Clarky right. and Administrator Clark. Right. Clarky boy. That's, <laughs> Clarky. That's right, Dr. Achi. Mm. Now is the time. We can all come together and get rid of Nurse Joseph. Now, I don't have a problem with Dr. Clark. But as our head, we have to go over his head and deal with that situation. Oh, oh, over oh, by, by his head. head, head Nurse Rivers. I, 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 I don't, don't mm -hmm. know, 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 know about you that. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, what you, you want, you want uh, us, us to do? Yes. What I want mm -hmm. you all to do? Tell them. I'd like you all to sign this petition. You see this petition here? It no, has attached to it a me. letter describing the gross and indecent behavior I witnessed between two authority figures. And you know what? Philip, we are going to request disciplinary measures before the joint board committee. <laughs> joint board joint committee? Joint board committee. That means they're going straight to the PS. The PS again. The PS. Again. Even the minister might get involved. The, the mi, 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 minister? Yes, the mi, mi, minister. The last time a complaint went out to join board committee, DBS, HTS, Choice TV, and MBC was there. And I'm not into Lucian memes, but I was a news pal. And someone got fired. But we know Fleming was wrong for selling drugs on compound. Everybody that sells drugs on compound, you oh. know the only reason why they fired him, man, is because he was the one who brought up the idea about being unionized. Just yes, use that against the man. But it's because of him, Philip. We are proud union members. Mm -hmm. Long live. Yes, long live the union for sure. My dear. May I see the letter, please? Hey, Dr. Achi. Hey, Dr. Achi, I know you just came from leave. But for all the things Miss Joseph do already, she not getting fired. Be, be, because clack, clacky boy is her, her man. What is it, Doc? Nurse, yes, you have my support. Thank you, Dr. Achi. Thank you. Wait, what? So fast? Yes. yes. <laughs> let me see that. Yeah, yeah, let me see that. Nurse Rivers, I don't want to get in trouble. Um, you have my support. Honestly, you do, but <laughs> I don't think I should sign that. But you're a coward, Philip. You, you're a coward. Who are you calling a you, coward? Me? You. <laughs> Nurse Rivers, I young, you know. I work in there for almost four years. I want my job. Matter of fact, I need my job. Both of y'all can resign and get pension. What about me? Huh? What about me? And just so to put my name down on a piece of paper and be blacklisted. <laughs> you all know how things are in this country. Even if you stand up for something right, they hate you for it. You all don't know what they're going to do. So many times does Joseph go before a joint board committee and nothing for that. But exactly, Philip. And we know why now. It's because of a relationship with Dr. Clark. And they have anything in their bylaws about two co-workers knocking each other? Huh? Yes, and you should have read the bylaws. Section 2A says, grounds for dismissal and suspension include stealing, fighting, mm. sexual activity, and any other action that portrays lewd and inappropriate behavior. No, I, I don't have a problem with them doing their thing. But put you in the office so late doing your nastiness. Like, yuck! Ugh. Ugh. I hear you, Nurse Rivers. You hear me? I do. I you do. Hear me? But do you understand why it may be difficult for me to sign the petition? Huh? Think about it. 
I hear you, Nurse Philippe. I hear you. I understand. But this is not about you. This is about all of us. You self said a woman and this. And? And just last week she gave you a purple note. Did you forget that? Yes, I don't care. I don't care. I permanent. It didn't take nothing out of my salary. And besides, I will got some rest okay. and some errands done. Okay. What about you? Hmm. But it's also on your file. And so, your reputation. And if you even want to get considered like me for a promotion, that's what will stand. Hmm. Looks like you want to be in that position the rest of your life. Do you? Think about it. Hmm. Just think about it. Fuzzy! Me! You sign in! I, I, I don't, 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 you can't do that. Hey, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. You cannot do that. You cannot do that. Look at me. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, you can't do that. Sit down, sit down. It is a trick. Ah. I know it's a tricky situation for everyone. But you have to learn to respect other people's opinion. Listen, take some time, people. Huh? Thank you. In addition, it is important to consider... How it would look like not having this Joseph hogging around all over the place. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I mean, you're right. But you're supposed to do that. Nurse Rivers, you need to give them some time. You need to give them some time. It is important. Give them Thank some you. time. You, yes. Give them some time, Dr. Archie. Yes. Everything in this budget hey. is about time. Why can't we just come together and do what is right? We have the evidence. We just need the numbers. Wait, you, so you're saying that you need everybody to sign in no, order for the meeting to happen? That's what you're no. saying? No. But signing just means I have the support of my colleagues. We have a common enemy. Oh, gosh. Miss Rivers, I don't know what to tell you. What do you mean you don't know what I to don't know what to tell you. You know that yeah. system is a yeah. trap. A trap. How many times in St. Lucia, a group of people come together and stand up for something right, and they actually accomplish their mission? Mm? Besides all the media and the what spotlight, media? When they raise their voices, hmm? nothing truly happens. But Phil, I say we try, Philip. Try we try. Once. At the end of the day, this is our workplace. And we have to coexist to do our work. Do, don't we deserve respect, decency, and accountability? Huh? Why? How I? Philip, like Philip, really, you, you're disappointing. I will think about it, okay? You'll think about yes, it. Yes, but it's a lot to consider. What is to consider? You know, Join Board does not play. <sighs> join Board again. Join and board. everyone comes under scrutiny. Before anything, they'll investigate you and make you the villain. But I could handle myself. You sure? I could handle myself. I mean, I have a lot of yes to work here. And you know what? I'd just rather not be a part of this toxic workspace. This one, I don't want to be a part of that. This toxic workplace. <laughs> you okay, my boy? <laughs> no, but <laughs> that was good. <laughs> but Philip, you know, next I week, like you, know. Doctor Ashley. What we say? Let's sign a petition. Sign it. You see, this time. We're getting rid of Nurse Joseph. We're going to win. I don't know that. Just, if you sign it, for James who sign it. Just sign it. Sign the petition. Fine, fine, fine. I'll sign the stupid thing. <sighs> sign it, sign it, sign it, sign it. Okay. <sighs> Only because I hate Nurse but Joseph. I hate her. I, I hate her too. I hate I still her. I like you though. Move, move. Well, you don't have to like me, Philly, but thanks for your support. Let me, let me see. Sign it, Fuji. Mm. Sign it, sign it, sign it. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi! <laughs> hey! Woo! Thank you, nurses. Thank you, nurses. Thank you, Philip. Woo. Now, uh, all we do is request for a meeting before the joint board committee and decide on a date. Philip, 
all we do is speak the truth. I speak hear you. The truth. Right, Dr. Archie? Yeah, and yeah. that's my cue. And you will give me the, the details, okay, people? Thank my you, cue. Dr. Archie. No problem. <clears throat> um, since we're on the topic of work, <clears throat> good treatment, um, I can leave it today, man. Hey, move in front of me. Mm. Push in. Mm. Canteen. Canteen. In, in, in the, the ca, ca, can, can, canteen. Lenny, have you seen this? Those bitches went above our heads and reported us to the joint board. Can they do this? Relax, baby. Calm down. <laughs> yes, they can. Relax, calm down? How come you're not upset about this? Because nothing can happen to us. We did nothing wrong. Look, all we have to do is announce that we are in a relationship and perhaps apologize. Apologize? Announce? No. 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 Calm down, Jenny. Come. Come, sit. Calm down. Calm down. Come. Come. Look. Everything will be fine. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. What you telling me there? Plus, we no longer have to sneak around and hide our relationship anymore. But you know these girls do not like me. And even if they don't like you. Plus, not now I've been telling you to calm down a little on them. Baby, come on now. It's just a meeting. We have both been before the joint board before. We are two consenting adults. Well, <clears throat> the only thing is, they bush us. <sighs> Look, risk we take, eh? <laughs> I guess it's only a matter of time before they are bush us. But I just don't want nobody having the upper hand on me. You know how people are stuck already. Plus, when the media find out what happened in the meeting, I just don't want to be any headline. Don't worry about that. Look, they have other pressing matters they have to deal with at the meeting as well. Babes, we did nothing wrong. Come on now. Come, look at me. Come on. You love me? Yes. So what are you afraid of? Just follow my lead and only talk if they ask you to. Now, 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 Lenny, you know that is very hard for me to do. Just trust me. You don't have to be in charge all of the time. Plus, we have both been very professional. Nobody has ever suspected any kind of favoritism or anything like that. We've been very careful, especially you, ashamed of me. Don't want anybody to know that we are involved. That is not true. Of course, yes, it's true. That is not true. We love each other and that is enough, okay? I hear you. Besides, I already tell you it's nothing too serious. Wow. We together three years already. And you tell me it's nothing serious? Eh, uh, eh. Uh, woman, you must stop that, stop you know. what? Stop preventing me from loving you. Everything is a fight, a resistance. Woman, just let go and be loved. But I letting you love me. Woman, you letting me love you? Okay, so why can't it be you? Why can't you be loved? Huh? Look. Come on. The only thing that matters is that I, I love you. And I love you enough 
for the both of us. Oh, Lenny, I love you too. So what are you worried about? Just relax and be quiet. I'll try my best. Come on now. All right. I'll keep quiet. <sighs> All right. Good morning, nurses. Administrator Clark. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Janelle Stills. We are joined by other members of the board via Zoom, and this meeting will be recorded for documentation purposes. Um, I know this is the first time we've been meeting since the pandemic. Uh, we have a lot to discuss today, but before I begin, I would just like to commend you all for the great work that you have been doing at the center. I mean, in government's thrust to promote and include emotional wellness as a major key in achieving general health and wellness. You are all pioneers. And I would just like to thank you. Thank you. <laughs> right. <clears throat> Housekeeping matters. An official complaint was lodged together with a petition to see the immediate removal of Nurse Joseph in her capacity as head nurse and for disciplinary action to be taken against Nurse Joseph and Administrator Clark for alleged indecent conduct at the center. Nurse Rivers, according to your statement, the incident you witnessed is what made you file this formal complaint. You also added that Nurse Joseph and her style of management is haphazard, preferential, and unprofessional. This was backed by the signatures of all your colleagues, Ms. Rivers. Yes, yes, Ms. Stills. So before we call the meeting, an investigation had to be launched. Some, not all, were interviewed. I mean, we have to agree that the accusations here are very damaging. So before we proceeded, we had to ensure due diligence. So on the matter of indecent conduct between Ms. Joseph and Administrator Clark, it was made to be put on record that the two are in a long-standing relationship. What? That, 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 that's true. All right. That, that's wow. true. All right. Really? Settle down, everyone. Really? Ms. Joseph, Administrator Clark, do you have anything to say? Good day, all. Please allow me to stand to echo the statements of Ms. Stills. You see, Nurse Joseph and I have been involved in a relationship for a very long time. Please, let me officially apologize for Nurse Joseph's and my poor judgment on that evening. Outside that, let me assure this board that the employees here had no idea because I have always made it my duty and Nurse Joseph's to ensure that our loving relationship does not come between our working relationship nor our duties at running the center. Thank you, Administrator Clark. 
But I do believe that Nurse Joseph can speak for herself. Nurse Joseph, the floor is yours. Good evening, everyone. I think it is only prudent that I apologize for the encounter that Nurse Rivers encountered. At this moment, I have no comment. Thank you, Ms. Joseph. Um, does anyone else have anything to say before we give closure? Yes, Ms. Rivers. Ms. Seals, perhaps I excluded that there was a patient in the room at the time, and that's when I saw them. The patient was out of his room. Hmm. And you know what? That makes the situation even worse. Even worse. Thank you, Nurse Rivers. Thank you. You can have a seat. So on the matter of indecent conduct between Nurse Joseph and Administrator Clark, we cannot do much. As the two have declared a loving relationship. The fact that it happened on property after hours is the issue. Uh, did the patient see anything, Nurse Rivers? Anything at all? Honestly, Miss Seals, no. He was incapacitated, inconsolable mm. in the dark. So, I, I believe the two thought they were alone. They thought they were alone. So, on the matter of indecent conduct, it has been decided by the joint board to give the two of you a cautionary warning. Both of you must sign a relationship status declaration form that will be sent out as a memo. A warning? The wicked woman and a man a warning? Excuse me. We will not be tolerating any name calling here. What is this? Eh, eh. Administrator Clark, please have a seat. <coughs> yes, on the grounds that the two are in a relationship. So they get a slap on the wrist. Well, the nurses are continuously under pressure from Nurse Joseph. I'm not name calling that one. Preferential treatment. But, but now she protected because her loving, her loving partner is the boss. Hmm. Hmm. This, this system is really broken. And as nurses, we're just loyal to a system that does not serve us. When will it stop, Miss Steels? When? Ms. Rivers, we are not done with the meeting. Please have a sit. Miss Now. That was part one in that of the complaint of indecent conduct. But before I begin, before I move on, I must see. Shame! 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 Shame on you! Shame! Shame! Ms. Joseph! Administrator Nothing. Clark! I as authoritative figureheads, the two of you should have known better. They should have known better. Yes. You know better. Yes. 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 The bylaws of the center can't allow us to do more. But let this be a stern warning that this type of conduct oh, is not acceptable. It's not. Especially in a workspace with patients. With patients. Patients. Moving on, Ms. Joseph, several complaints have come up against you, both now and before you have a long, no. long history of the same negative feedback from your colleagues. Um, in the latest instance, the nurses claim to have been wrongfully punished yes. Yes. for yes. an incident that happened with a gentleman coming into the center. Mm -hmm. I understood that mm -hmm. purple notes were given. Yes. Yes, yes. Nurse Joseph, do you have anything to say about that? I really want to I do not think that the purple notes were harsh. 
Let me tell you, P.S., that the woman was getting on erratic and violent and all to the negligence of the staff. Yes, but don't you think that a purple note is a bit harsh? Exactly. From my understanding, all the nurses were attending to emergent situations at the time. Exactly yes. what we say. The sifting of the mail simply was not possible. It was not. It was, it was not. not. Madam P.S., might I remind you that this emotional wellness center run on the hill has been run very well. <laughs> and might I add, under my supervision, <laughs> I do not think that the purple notes was harsh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Nurse Rivers. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Based on all what we are dealing with now and before, it has been decided by the Joint Board to relieve you, Nurse Joseph, of your supervisory role for one month. <laughs> and grant that Nurse Rivers acts mm. in your position for the same period. Okay. Also, we do realize that a promotion is long overdue for some of our staff members here. Uh, that will include a simple raise in salary after the first three years of working here. Uh, nurse mm. Philip, Yes. Are you still at a nurse grade three position? Yes. Ah, well, okay. We will see to it that you get your salary increase retroactive the eight months you've been denied this price. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Big up to you. Philip. I tell you we're doing the right thing. All right, all right. Final matter on the agenda has to do with the high intake and long stays of our patients. Unfortunately, there is a mandate to decrease the population at the center. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> yes, Ms. Stills. Um, I have been advised by my doctors that some of the patients are on the final stage of assessment. And very soon, a few patients will be allowed to go home. As a matter of fact, there is a presentation ceremony taking place later. If you wish... You are invited to join? Oh, yes. Yes, I would love to meet the patients, see what they are up to. Sure. Um, Dr. Archibald? Yes? Will you be so kind to host us at your presentation ceremony later? No problem. Um, I, will inform, um, I will inform the patients that we'll have an audience. Oh, okay? well. And please bring everybody, please. Ah, okay. Well, thank you for that, Dr. Archibald. Uh, Ms. Joseph? Team, let's not lose sight of why we are here. To do the best at our jobs. At rendering the best care for our patients. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In a world that is highly volatile, let's create a stable, peaceful space for our patients. I agree, Miss Still. I agree. Yes, yes. Uh, on that note, any other business? I think we are done here. Yes, Miss Joseph. Oh, yes, Miss Joseph. What do you have to say what, now? What? Go ahead. I would just like to. I would just like to congratulate Miss Rivers on a promotion. We all know you worked very hard for it. Thank you. Thank you. Well, on that note, thank you all for being here. We will follow up with a memo on the decisions taken. And like I said earlier, keep up the great work, everyone. Inform the patients that you are Joseph. Nurse Joseph. Ramon, stop it. Perhaps you should help the patients. Uh, or the nurses with the patients. Miss Tills, Miss Tills, can I escort you to the washroom? 
Oh, um, I wanted to speak to you about something. You're wrong for that, Clarky. You're wrong. You cannot be draining the lizard at the workplace, Gassa. Dr. Archibald, I'm not one of your patients. You need to stop passing judgment on me. Anyway, this too shall pass. With you, it's more like this wood shall pass. Hey, hey, my boy, you knew her too. My boy? What happened? All of your marriage. What really going on here? Ah, you alone, that's the mad one. Yeah, hey, you. So, what's your story? Why are you here? I have a woman problem. Mm, so, what, what, what happened here? Hey, you know, I called I call the wife. She didn't answer the phone. I called, you know, Dharma. She answered the phone. So, I realized the doctor was right. I, I really have to start thinking about myself. I have to start focusing on me and. You know what I want out of the relationship? It's supposed to be a partnership. I spend so much time giving and not thinking about what I should be receiving. Wait, 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 wait. You always hear a story. Check you your You don't even know me, Gasa. I say I'm not yeah, supposed to be here. Yes. And I'm telling you, all I'm going to have to do is feed this child, my mm. one. He have to feed the child. And I know he love me. He love me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. That's why you accept him, Gasa. Now I tell you why I stay in here. And do dig nothing. I'm sorry for all the trouble I give you, man. Just show, show, show me, me, me the vice. Sir, relax. No, no, no. Always nervous, man. <laughs> me, me, no, 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 You, that man always like that. Michelle. Yo. You do your homework, man? Of course, yeah, my G.I.O. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. I read a song, you know. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Joseph, go, 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 get, get, get them. That's right. Hey, go ahead. Go ahead. Wait, head on, head on, head on. Go ahead. Head that. Mm -hmm. How full Jen's mm -hmm. giving that one orders? Yeah, I got you the I got the I got the She is. I professional. Have a, 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 a <laughs> I never like that woman. Ever. Finally, the witch gets what she needs to. And this is living soon, right? Amen. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay, I think um, they're ready for you guys right now. Thank you. <laughs> Good day again to all. Today is the day of the presentation. Yeah, ma. Are we ready? Are we? Are you in? Okay. So, oh, everybody is here. Yeah. yeah is there anybody been. else coming in? That's it. Thank you. Now, let us start with our mantra. This too shall pass. Ah, uh, no, no, we can do better. This too shall pass. This, this too shall pass. pass. This too shall pass. This too shall pass. Nurse Joseph, you are not participating in the activity. This too shall pass. Please repeat. This too shall pass. This too shall pass. <laughs> this too, your this too shall pass sounds as a demoted this too shall pass. <laughs> now let's get straight into the order of business. We have our guest. Michelle, you said you were going to do something for us. Can you please proceed today? Of course, my good. Good. Big of you, you. Big <laughs> so, Doc, what I've learned is that if you are chasing a man, that means he's running away from you. Talk people in love supposed to run towards each other, Doc. So going forward, hmm, Doc, I plan to be like the sun. Doc, I will always be shining. Hmm. But for the men, Doc, hey, I'm out of reach. Whoa, 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 well done, Michelle. Let's give her a round of applause. Michelle, come and give me that physical touch you wanted to give me. There you go. Very good. Kashpan, Kashi, you ready? A what? Boy, ah, you said know. you were going to come yeah, home. So I have my eyes on you. Oi. I stay in here. Just, just show, show, show me, me the vibes. Give me the rhythm. Hey. 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 You have a track, you have a track. Ow, <laughs> a, a slow vibe. Let me go. Let's all join in. Nice and slow. 
Erica Jackson. Last year, I came down from Canada. They sent me to the Gopal Rehab Center. My ex girlfriend, her name was Pinky. She gave me a hon. He told my money. Dr. Pat, Achi, they helped me to cope with the pain and hunger. Now I have some hope. I am leaving the center, a better man. No more pain and go well, I'm a new cash pan. Nicholas, Nicholas, that is not the jacket we had on. Jelani, what was that? You take Asai, a jacket. How hungry? That is not well hungry. Um, we take it from the top. We take it from the top. Wow, wow, wow. After you do not give us refreshments, you want us to come you, and do that? Move that rock there. That's how you see you. Ah, I finish. No, no, I take the rock and go. Hello. Take the rock. Go in the rock. Move the rock there. I'm not playing with these stupid suspenders. Take your look.